Presets is a tool for HubSpot super admins so they can set the preferences for all the users and teams in their account. That way they don't have to do it all individually. I'm gonna show you how to do this in today's HubSpot hack. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously log into HubSpot and then click the settings gear icon towards the top right. And then on the left-hand side, navigate to users and teams under account setup. Once you're here, you should have a presets tab in the middle. And if you've created any presets in the past, you should have a list of them here to make edits. But if you haven't created one before, you'll get prompted to create your first one like I'm doing here today. So we'll click create presets. And it's important to remember that you can create multiple presets. So a good example is for the different teams in your account. So you might wanna create this differently for sales as you would for service and support or your marketing teams. So we're gonna create one today for how we would for a sales team. So we'll give the name, uh, give it a name here at the top. We'll call this our sales preset. And for a home page, we'll probably want to send them to tasks. So every time they log into HubSpot, the first page they'll see will be their tasks and what they're supposed to be doing for the day. For their dashboard, we have a sales dashboard. So every time they want to see reports and things, this is what it will default to. And set their language, we'll leave that as English. And our date format, we'll choose United States. Perfect, general settings look good. Now let's set up their email signature. So we're gonna turn this on. And two ways we can do this is with a simple email address and HTML. I'm gonna show you how to do both, but you're gonna need the simple tools to set up HTML. You're gonna see that in a couple seconds. So since we're setting this up for multiple users, we're gonna to wanna to use personalization tokens. So we're gonna say, personalize it with the user's first name, personalize it with last name, and then um, we'll also throw in job title. So job title is actually one that I created myself. I'm going to show you how to do that shortly as well, but I added it in and we might want to just put the company name. So that's an example here where you may not need a preset. You can then add something like uh, their meeting links and maybe some text here before it. Book time with me. Perfect. So for example, like the job title uh, token that we created here, if there's any other tokens that you might want to create that they're not giving to you by default, like maybe LinkedIn URL, you're going to want to click to manage email tokens. And then here you can create your own up to five additional tokens for your users. So again, I've created LinkedIn URL and job title. And once you create one, you want to click save. And then in your presets here, you'll see them in your drop down list to use for your email signatures. Now, if you want to use a HTML signature, which I'm going to show you how to create here, you're going to want to um, add those personalization tokens in the simple editor first, because we're going to need these little snippets here to add to our HTML. So what I'm going to do is just bear with me for a second while I grab the code for my real email signature and drop this in here and you can see how it looks. So some things that we're probably gonna to wanna to change, obviously are like my name and my title, phone numbers and things like that. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to grab those tokens from the simple editor and put them in here. So bear with me one second while I look for where my name is. So I've located my name and Will DePerry, so I'm just going to highlight that. And then over here, I saved these tokens uh, in a note going to grab these and insert the tokens here instead of my name so that it looks correctly for everyone. And you should see what it looks like down here at the bottom so you can see where the personalization tokens are being used. So I'm not gonna do that for everything because it's gonna take a little while, but once you set it up, it's then done for all of your users and only something that you hopefully have to do once. Uh, once we're happy with our email signatures, we're gonna move over to notifications. And you can set up a notification profile as well for your users. So if you want to do that, you can go to notification profiles. You'll see what this looks like for you know email notifications, pop up, browsers, sending things to Slack as well, and then potentially the mobile app. So just for sake of time, I'm going to skip through setting all of these up, but it is something that you can also do as part of your preset. And once you're done over here at the top right, you can save your preset and then assign it to the users and teams that you want it to go to. So once you're happy with your preset, you'll wanna to navigate to users and teams here in the top middle. And this is where you're gonna pick which users or teams you want this to apply to. So if I select my drop down here, let me hop down to sales where I have three members. 
and I'll click to save the preset. So I'm gonna to click to not send an email notification to everyone because this is just a dem uh, demonstration video and save it. So once we're happy with our preset, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your personalization tokens are correct. So the default ones like the first name, last name, email address, those are gonna pull from the user profile, but the ones that we created like job title and LinkedIn URL still need to be set for those users. So to do that, we'll hover over the one we created and click actions and assign email tokens. You can then pick each user that you wanna edit and then add in their job title and you can add in their LinkedIn URL and save it and then it's gonna be used in their email signature. So that's it, now you're using HubSpot presets. I hope you liked this video, I hope you found it useful. Make sure you like and subscribe to get all the latest and greatest HubSpot hacks. Thanks for watching.